Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your skin done right. And with no further ado, let's get started. The first adjustment layer we are going to create is the hue saturation adjustment layer. So you create the hue saturation adjustment layer. This is the most powerful tool for color correction. So after creating the hue saturation adjustment layer, actually we are going to be using two adjustments for the correction stage. The first is the hue saturation. So pay attention because the next adjustment layer we are going to be using is even way more powerful. So the hue saturation adjustment layer, you can see that the channel is on master right now. So click on this hand picker tool and then click on the skin tone area of the model. And you see that it has changed to red, meaning the color channel is on the red channel right now. So right here on the right channel, we are going to reduce the saturation because the red in this skin tone is too much. If you are not uh, seeing it as too much, then maybe the screen of the device you are using to watch this video is not calibrated or you, your eyes are not yet trained to notice it. But after seeing the question, you see the immense difference between the before and the after. So after targeting the uh, skin tone area, which is the red channel, we are going to reduce the saturation. We reduce the saturation until we think it's okay. But as a starting point, let's reduce the saturation to minus 10. This is minus 10. And at this point, we are going to create the next adjustment layer, which is the selective color. Selective color is the most powerful color adjustment layer in Photoshop because it's very specific in its color target. The selective color contains all the uh, colors on the color wave from the reds to the yellow to the greens cyan's blues magentas white neutrals and black the skin tone is between the reds the yellows and sometimes the magenta for this particular uh, correction we are going to target the reds since the hue saturation has indicated that the skin tone is in the red channel so on the red color we are going to uh, adjust the cyan in the reds for the cyan we are going to uh, move the cyan to plus 17. If you want to know exactly what is happening to your image, you can move them to the uh, extreme. Extreme right, you can see that uh, this skin tone is now having too much cyan in it. You move it to the extreme left, you can see that the rest is too much, meaning moving it to the right is reducing the rest. So we are going to leave it at plus 17. Now the next uh, adjustment we are going to target in the selective color red channel is the black. If you move the black to the extreme right, you can see that there's excessive black in the skin tone. If you move it to the extreme right and left, you can see it's now too whitish. So by moving it to the extremes, you see exactly what is happening. But that's not where you're going to leave it. You're going to move it more subtly. So you move it to the left gradually. Minus 9 is okay for this particular image. You can use this as a starting point. Or you can move it according to taste. So now we are going to group these two adjustments together. Hold your control on your PC or command on your Mac to create these two selection. Then we are going to drag it down to this group icon down here to group them into one. You rename it Red Remover. At this point, you are going to talk between before and after. So the before and this is the after. Don't worry, stick around because I'm going to show you something more amazing after this. This is the before and this is the after. You can see that the excessive red has been removed in a very professional way. If you are not okay with this or if this is too much an image, don't ever forget your opacity. Opacity is there for you to reduce or increase the effect of your adjustment. But if you think it's too small and you want to increase it, you can duplicate this particular group. If you drag it to this plus icon here, it's it get duplicated. I can see if this is what you are going for, which is not that bad, you can still do exactly that. But for this image, I want to leave it somewhere around here like this. So we will delete the other group. If your Photoshop interface is not like this, you come to your Windows, Workspace, and uh, make sure it's on Photography. And if it's already on Photography and it's still not looking like this, go and click on Reset Photography to get something similar to this interface. After doing this, let me show you something, a very powerful way to read your skin tone. Sometimes after correcting your skin tone, 
you might want to stylize it to get even more amazing skin tone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the slummy amazing skin tone action to get exactly that. So you come to the slummy ultimate skin tone pack and click on the magic skin tone. You can see the skin tone red remover is already an action here. So if you get this package, you also get the skin tone red remover as a bonus. So you click on the magic skin tone to create this action right here. And another thing is in this action, you also see the slammy smart frequency. Every other details about this action is in the description, or you can send me a DM right now on Instagram. After creating this action, you see that nothing happens because uh, it's maxed. So we are going to remove the max. You can set your brush. Make sure your foreground is white. Open your foreground to white. Make sure your flow is reasonable. 20 is not bad. Make sure your brush is a soft brush meaning the hardness is zero if you want to confirm you can just come and click on soft brush right here and then you increase the size of your brush using the bracket key and then bend over the image to review this particular effect you take your time to unmask this from the skin area If you are done doing this, you can open the action to see exactly what is happening. This is the mid thigh uh, maxing, and this is the shadow maxing. And this also uh, for shadow grading. You see, it uses selective color on the black channel. So if you can turn this off if your image is looking too contrasted after applying this action. And then you can see the adjust exposure. You can use this to adjust your exposure. This is the level. Try to adjust the exposure of the image if you think the exposure is not all right. After doing this, there's something more amazing I'm going to show you, which is the slimy skin tone swatches. You can easily use the slimy skin tone swatches to change the skin tone uh, of the image. I made a more detailed video on that. You can check the channel for that. If you haven't liked this video already, make sure you like this video. Leave your like and comment if there's a particular issue you're having in your photography photo editing let me know in the comment section right now see you in another amazing tutorial